In this movie, we're going to look at the different systems for encoding and encrypting data available within MySQL. Before we look at the specific commands that we use to carry out these kind of tasks, we need to examine the difference between the different kinds of encryption available. One-way encryption is a very safe method of encrypting data. It completely scrambles it, and then the only way to verify that the original value of the data is to put it through exactly the same scrambling process and then to compare the two results. It's not possible to extract the original information from the scrambled data. Another way of encoding data is to use a two-way encryption which can be decrypted again to recover the original value. Let's take a look at some of the commands that we use to carry out these kinds of encryption. One of them is the encode function. We use it like this. We use it in combination here with a select statement, select encode, and the encode function takes two arguments, the first of which is the original string that we want encoded. Let's call it hide me. And then it also takes a particular key. This is the sequence that is going to be used in order to encode the information. So here, the hide me string has been encoded using the pass key to form a set of unintelligible characters. Now, in order to decode this information, we simply use the decode command. So faced with this set of unintelligible characters, we can get the information back out using the decode command. Let's use the mark feature of the command prompt because we're not able to use normal cutting and pasting in this particular environment. And we use exactly the same syntax. And we're able to recover the original value. This is in contrast with one-way encryption systems, such as the MD5 function. This scrambled data is organized in such a way that it is impossible to cut, uncover the original data. The only way we could do it would be to compare the equality of the original data with the scrambled version. We're going to have to use the mark feature of the shell again because I don't want to copy all that out by eye. And I'm going to have to put in a quote mark here and one at the end. As you can see, MySQL returns one which is the equivalent of true. So MD5 hide me is the same as that unintelligible string of numbers and letters. The way in which MySQL stores the passwords, which we noticed somewhere in the last movie, is similar to the second of these two forms. That is, it's one-way encryption. 
when the passwords are encoded and stored within the tables in the MySQL database, they use a special function called the password function, and it's impossible to reverse the password function. The only way to check if a password is valid is to run the original string through the password function and then compare the result to whatever is stored on the database. So as you can see, a smaller string, but this is one that using the password function is equivalent, exactly equivalent to the way in which the passwords are stored in the MySQL table where the users and privileges are kept. So this is the systems that we can use for encrypting data within MySQL. In our next movie we're going to wrap up on the syntax that we've learnt in this chapter and then we're going to move on to the final chapter of this title which is the end project for the course.